Hello Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers, welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya and today we are talking about what is Mercury. And the reason we're talking about what is Mercury is in context of a future transit we are about to experience, y'all. That is Mercury retrograde in the sign of Scorpio aka the most powerful sign of the entire zodiac is about to host mercury the god of knowledge and skill and so much more so it is about to get deep mercury retrograde season this uh season is going to be very intense very deep very explorative but in this video my objective is to make sure that you walk away feeling confident and competent in what Mercury uh, means, what Mercury symbolizes, and how we can expect just Mercurial things in general to show up in our lives, okay? Okay, before I jump into that juicy though details, make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel if you are not already. I put out a video each and every day of the week. It's a tremendous amount of input that I give you for free 99, so be here for it. Um, I'm here for you. All right, number two, like this video if it brings you any value whatsoever, because by liking it, it actually helps more people access this information. And we're about to talk about the ancient god of knowledge, Thoth, Hermes. This is such ancient wisdom, y'all. I'm like constantly learning new stuff myself. And let me tell you, this is like deep. This topic is deep, what we're about to talk about. So like it so that other people can get it. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be doing another video exclusively on this. Um, but this is a primer for all the Wisdom Drops crew members here who are just like ready to go. I want to prime you today. And then we're going to go deeper as the next couple sessions of Wisdom Drops continues. So um, with that said, with that said... <laughs> Uh, there's so many thoughts, but <laughs> let's just finish the, the, the little caveat that by saying, if you want to learn astrology for yourself, if you want to have the skill and be autonomous and have that gift, have that ability, that power, like a wand in your hand that you can command at any point in time, no matter the audience you are met with, and you want to interpret charts, you want to be that person. I am offering a course, and the registration deadline is right around the corner. So, with that said, make sure if you are interested, check out the Calendly link down below, and there's a link with the description of that course. It's a three-month intensive training program. I'm going to give you as much as I know in the most interactive, innovative, educational way that I can conceive of so that you are uh, a, an autonomous explorer of astrology under my support and guidance and getting the key takeaways I want you to have, but learning whatever it is you need to learn for your path and your soul in that process. I'm very excited about it. We have an amazing cohort of people already developed, so um, please do join us if you're into that. The, the first step, as I said, is a Calendly link. Okay, thanks for listening to that. Now, um, as I was saying, Mercury is very intense uh, in, in Scorpio in our retrograde season. But before we get into that, let's just talk about Mercury and the God, the symbolism of Mercury. This is the deepest depths of ancient Egypt. And y'all, check it out, check it out, check it out. When I say the God of knowledge, I'm talking about the motherfucker responsible for the pyramids, the architect of the pyramids, structures, which mind you, we cannot replicate to this day. Enlisting all modern technology, we could not currently replicate the pyramids. This god, Mercury, aka Thoth, aka Hermes Trismegistus, okay, is the god of knowledge, the one who gave us the, the pyramid structures across the entire globe. There's so many things in the Emerald Tablets about this. There's so many things in just all the ancient texts. I mean, it's insane the amount of just, just, just lists of information. But what I'm trying to articulate is that when we understand Mercury as a planet in astrology, we have to understand Mercury as a god. All the planets are thought of as gods and goddesses in some way, shape, or form or omens of goddesses and gods, right? Uh, aspects of their divinity. Mercury is the aspect of the divinity that is Thoth. 
the god of knowledge, the one who taught us how to build pyramids, the one who did all of that super next level stuff. And I mean, sound technology, we're talking uh, everything that is just like cutting edge in modern astrology that is like actually remembrance of old ancient ways. That is Thoth. Thoth is the oldest, most ancient, dopest, deepest knowledge of the highest, most incredible caliber. So you put that in a planet of Mercury and it's symbolized in this. Mercury is symbolized in this, in this notion of knowledge, skill, craft. And on a more mundane level, it's our thoughts, it's our brains, it's our intellect. It's what goes on in our vessel from a more analytical, intellectual perspective. It's also what goes on in our vessel in terms of uh, information in the body. Information in the body transferring from one point to another. The heart pumping out blood isn't in fact a mercurial act. You will not hear other astrologers referencing this. I am telling you this because it's the fucking truth, pardon my French. Mercury is the translator of information. Any information that is transferred is mercurial. That's why astrology prescribes mercury to bicycles, to automobiles, anything vehicular. Guess what's vehicular? Your heart and your veins. Veins are mercurial, just as are roads. So understand mercury from a deeper place, and you begin to understand the depths of the universe from a deeper place. And that is a perfect note to end this video to prime us for our next session where we will dive in to Mercury and Scorpio, okay? So understand Mercury. I just got goosebumps. That was just so real. Mercury is Thoth, y'all. Thoth is the ancient god of wisdom and knowledge. If you don't know Thoth, please go look him up. He will change your world. He is also, um, basically, he is... He is the symbolism of Archangel Metatron, which if you know your angels, Archangel Metatron is the Archangel that is the next level above Michael, and Michael's the top dog. So if you think about like what Thoth symbolizes, he is the divine, supreme, masculine god energy of defense and also of... Uh, of knowledge so all right i'm, I'm gonna wrap it up because i could literally go for so much more <laughs> but with that said make sure you subscribe like the video if it brought you any value and want other people to know this stuff okay uh showed love share it blah -dee -dee -blah, -dee blah and uh with that said if you're into the course link is down below if you want a reading my contact info is down below and with that said through next time until next time may the stars be with you. Peace.